The Sirius Dog Sled Patrol Danish, Patrullen Sirius, known informally as Sirius Patrullen the Sirius Patrol and formerly known as Northeast Greenland Sledge Patrol and Resolute Dog Sled Patrol, is an elite Danish naval unit. It conducts long-range reconnaissance patrolling, and enforces Danish sovereignty in the Arctic wilderness of northern and eastern Greenland, an area that includes the largest national park in the world. Patrolling is usually done in pairs, sometimes for four months and often without additional human contact. The Sirius Patrol has the ability to engage militarily, and has done so historically. Its purpose is to maintain Danish sovereignty and police its area of responsibility. The physical and psychological demands for acceptance into the unit are exceptional. Crown Prince Frederick patrolled with the Sirius Patrol. History In 1933 the International Court of the League of Nations ruled in the Danish-Norwegian dispute over Erik the Red's land that for it to remain Danish, Denmark had to assert its sovereignty there. Initially, this presence was in the form of two fixed police stations. The Sled Patrol Unit, first known as the Northeast Greenland Sledge Patrol, was activated in the summer of 1941 during World War II to conduct long range reconnaissance patrols along the northeast coast of Greenland, thereby preventing German presence there. Its headquarters was at Eskimones, which had been until then a scientific station. At the time, the Germans established a number of secret weather stations on the eastern coast of the island to provide them with invaluable meteorological information both to assist their U-boat campaign and to predict the weather in the European theatre. Thus the patrol's discovery of these stations denied Germany such information with significant implications both for the Battle of the Atlantic and for air and land fighting in Europe, despite the enormous distance of Greenland from the main theatres of war. The Sirius Sled Patrol cooperated with Nanok East Greenland Fishing Company, the only other organization active in the remote area, which built a number of hunting huts in the uninhabited expanses of northeastern Greenland. The patrol discovered the German weather station Holzoge at Hansa Bay on the northeast coast of Sabine Island, which was subsequently destroyed by United States Army Air Forces USAAF bombers from Iceland. During the war, the unit suffered one man killed in action. Two others were captured by German forces, but escaped and rejoined the patrol. In 2008, the National Bank of Denmark issued a 10 DKK commemorative coin of Sirius. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Organization. Since October 2012, the newly formed Joint Arctic Command has been responsible for Sirius. The SLED unit used to be operationally under the Greenland Command, and administratively under the Royal Danish Navy. The patrol represents Denmark's military presence in northeast Greenland. The patrol operates in the northern, and northeastern part of Greenland from the west coast of Hall Land Peterman Fjord and Glacier 81 degrees 04 and 61 degrees 40 W to Cape Bio north of Fleming Fjord 71 degrees 53 and 22 degrees 33 W. The flying distance between the two points is about 2,100 km, but the length along the coastline is far greater, around 16,000 km. The Greenland ice sheet is not a part of the patrolled area. The unit is stationed at Daneborg 74 degrees 11 in 20 degrees 08 W, and maintains personnel at Station Nord, Danmarkshaven, and Mestersvig. The unit uses more than 50 depot huts scattered across the patrolled area. The depot huts are resupplied by small boats in the southern area, and by aircraft in the northern part. The Sirius Patrol consists of six dog sled teams for the duration of the year, each consisting of two men, and 11 to 15 dogs. When traveling, each team carries approximately 350 to 500 kilograms, depending on the distance to the next depot. 
Currently there are 12 men serving with the patrol and two radio operators. Topic: Responsibilities. Sledge patrolling is divided into two periods. Depending on when the ice becomes thick enough, the autumn patrol starts sometime in November and lasts until late December. The sun sets for the last time around the beginning of November, and in the increasing darkness the winter storms get progressively worse, and more frequent. Getting home before Christmas is therefore not always possible for members of the unit. Around the end of January, when the weather stabilizes, and the sun reappears, the longer journeys begin and last until June, when the ice begins to break apart and drift southwards. During this period, the six sledge teams will cover a large part of the coastline, and within a period of three to four years all areas will be visited. <laughs> Recruitment and training Candidates for the Sirius Patrol must have completed their compulsory service. At the tryout seven men are selected to start on about six months of various training courses. Women can apply, but none have yet. Survival course in Greenland five weeks. Shooting course Demolition course Engine and mechanics course Reconnaissance course Firefighter course Radio and communications course First aid course Extended first aid course Sewing course Truck course courses run from December to the end of May. The final group consisting of 12 men is picked as late as two to three weeks before they depart to Greenland for 26 consecutive months. Topic. Equipment Because of the special nature of Sirius sled patrol operations, a wide range of unique equipment is required that is not normally used by the Danish armed forces. The weapons carried also reflect the harsh conditions. Among the equipment used by the Sirius Sledge Patrol is the M1917 Enfield Bolt Action Rifle chambered in .3006 Springfield, known in Danish service as the Gever M. 53-17, and the Glock 20 pistol chambered in 10mm auto. The Sirius Patrol uses the standard .3006 Springfield 168 grain 10.89 grams armor piercing M2 military rifle round and also civilian hollow points. The patrolmen feel that the M2 military round is best against aggressive polar bears at long range, but that the hollow points are better against an enraged muskox. Typically, the patrolmen arrange their stripper clips so every third round is a hollow point. The patrol formerly used pistol M49 sidearms chambered in 9 times 19 mm parabellum, but they proved insufficient against the polar bears encountered. The weapons carried also reflect the harsh conditions. Only bolt action rifles M17, M53 perform reliably. The standard SIG 210 Neuhausen sidearm was recently replaced by the 10mm Glock 20, as the stopping power of multiple 9mm rounds proved to be insufficient against a polar bear. See also Joint Arctic Command Military of Greenland Military of Denmark Nanok East Greenland Fishing Company Sirius Passet